I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Very small, you know, small petite girl. He tried to get two girls in before me, but picked me, put me in the car, started towards the dock. We were at the lights and he's already gone, here, yeah, here's your money. So it seems trustworthy to me, you know? Air all back, business suit, tie, the lot. And we're at the lights and the lights are changing. He said, just grab that wheel and I'll put my foot down and turn the corner. And as I did, handcuffs on. He took me to this house that he owned. He was renting out to students. Well, the students have all gone back for the summer. A chain through the handcuffs and a knife in my back, taking me up the stairs. I'm on the third floor and and then it was um, sitting in this hard back chair in the middle of this, this big room. There was a big window there and he was a big fella. Grey hair. He took all my clothes off with a knife. With a knife. Do you know what you are? You're the devil's spawn. Just a dirty prostitute. Now get on your knees and say you're sorry to God for what you are. I, I started to, I realised that if I argued with him, I was going to make him worse and he was going to get angrier and it was going to go up and up in scale, so I had to play him. I was like, sorry God. And he boots me and burnt a cross in my back. I had 17 crosses in my back of him. That wasn't sincere enough. Do it again. He raped me three times and, and then he went dead calm, got out a bottle of whiskey, gave me a drink. He, He's got the other chair and he's sitting facing me now. I'm, I'm shaking you know, and he's like, calm down, you're all right. Here's some whiskey, here's a cigarette. And, and I was like, wow, <laughs> what's going on here? He said, you're going to have to listen to me, Ali. He, he t t turned my head up and, and took my hand. I'll never forget his eyes. My jaw was shattered and my, my nose was gone. I mean, I was in a really bad way. He said, you've seen my face. So you'll be able to identify me. So I'm gonna go into that kitchen to get the knife. To kill you. And I thought, now well, before you kill me, mate, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself. So I jumped out the window, three floors up and landed. My ankle shattered. After I got kidnapped, they didn't know nothing about it, but it had been in the paper and been to trial and said my name. So I had to ring home, get a taxi. <laughs> That's all my mum said. All I was worried about was my mum. My mum's friends. My dad. Could be anyone's daughter, I, I know, but people don't see it like that. Never mentioned it, my dad. Not till he was dying. And he just said, listen, I've never spoke to you about it, but you never changed in my eyes. He killed me that. 
No. But I really needed to hear it. 